Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Jackie. Ina, like China, please pronounce it correctly. Jagga, 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 we all know that no two foundation shades are made the same, or are they? When it comes to buying new foundations, there's a few shade names that I almost expect to see by now. And this has been going on like since I bought my first ever foundation, Maybelline Dream Matte Mousse, which was in the shade Coco. And I'm still a Coco in a lot of different brands. So let's say I go to a store and um, if they have my shade, I usually maybe like a Coco. I might find myself in the Mocha criteria. More likely than not, and this is all almost the indicator of whether or not this is going to be a very diverse brand. If they have a mahogany, yeah. Mahogany is just like that one hitter that takes every single bullet for every black girl. That's usually in the NC50, NW45 category. You know, we all kind of get lumped in together. I always end up being a deep, a dark deep, a deep dark. I've seen a couple hazelnuts, almonds, all of the nut allergies you can think of. And I've always wanted to see what would it be like if I took a mocha from every brand out there that has a mocha and compare them all together. Right? This was actually requested of me, I wanna say like two years ago, and it was after I did my video talking about worst brands for people of color. And I wrote this on my list, never got around to doing it, but I thought the idea was brilliant. Ladylike on their YouTube channel has also done this. Shout out to the girls over at Ladylike, love them. And I kind of pulled some inspo on how they filmed it to do it myself. I'm gonna do it a little different, but it's basically shooting at the same basket. Kobe, I ended up with about seven strong, very popular products that I'm gonna be testing side by side today, seeing what they look like. We all know that buying stuff online is just a scam, girl. Like it really is a scam. Oh, what in James Bond? So without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and get started. Please make sure you join the Jackie Ina family. This week was the YouTube purge and I was right at 2,800 and YouTube kind of knocked me off my pedestal real quick. But if you are watching my videos regularly, which let's be real, you know you are, you might as well subscribe. I would love to see you join and see. I'd love to see you join. Make sure you hit that notification bell to see when I do new uploads so you don't have to type my name in and leave a troll comment. You know, you could just subscribe. I won't know. Just do it anyway. I'm enjoying the little bit of golden glow that I have now because I know after trying out some of these shades, this is going to be short-lived. In corner number one, we've got Maybelline Fit Me, Matte and Poreless in the shade Mocha. In corner two, we've got all my best blend forever in the shade Mocha. First of all, the shook allergic reaction I experienced when I realized Alme had something darker than cardboard box. And that's even pushing it, I think, for Alme. I was definitely like, uh, not only is she canceled, she's a, uh, can I get a refund? But I was definitely intrigued, so I, I bought it. She's here for now. We'll see where she ends up once we put her on. Maybelline Fit Me Matte Poreless. This is shade 360, so this would be the shade dark darker than what I normally use, coconut. Mm -hmm. On my right, I'll be trying 360 mocha. Before I even like blend them out and apply them, let's just see what it would look like if I swatched it first. So that's a pretty good color, at least in the swatch. Ah, you just know times are changing when All May makes dark makeup. Like it's almost like pulling teeth, getting some of these companies to just like participate in like basic things. Mocha is the darkest shade, which mm, very different when compared to the Maybelline color. This one, just from swatching a bit more pink. This one definitely more neutral. For the darkest shade, ooh, try again, ma. And I'm just blending these out with whatever brush I have on hand, girl. We gotta go, we got things to do, food to eat, people to see, meetings to go to. Here is what they look like swatched. This is Maybelline, this is All May. Could I get away with wearing both of them? I probably could. Now I say this constantly and I feel like no one really hears or pays attention, but what you see on camera a lot of times looks very different from what I'm looking at in person, especially when you factor in lights, whatever device you're watching my videos on, and also, you know, resolution and all that good stuff. Well, that's the same thing. But I can see a clear difference in person when looking at my mirror. The mirror is very clockable, so are these lights. Maybelline's giving me a little orange tease. You can probably see that on camera. I'm not orange, okay? She glows, but she's definitely not a Cheeto puff. It's slightly there, but this is something that I could work with. This is something that I could adjust. This is what I've been trained to fix my whole life. They ask you how you are, you have to say that you're fine. I'm really traumatized, honestly, I really am. Although All May is doing something, not enough, but something, this is just giving me a little bit more gray. This would be harder to adjust and harder to work with. Could I still make it work? I mean, that's what I do. What I want to, no. Testing foundation on your full face can be really drying and harsh on the skin. So instead of re-moisturizing in between application, let us spray. <coughs> I'm back. 
from outer space. That's just a quick way to hydrate real quick before we move on to round two. I have YSL All Hours. What's this called? It's just called their stick foundation. I'm pretty sure this is the all, oh, we're quite crafty with the Y stamp, aren't we YSL? And then I have Too Faced Born This Way in Mocha. I already know this is my shade because that's why I was commissioned for that project. So you guys already know enough about Born This Way. I talk about it all the time. It's my favorite foundation of all time. The YSL All Hours stick foundation I kind of ignored because I don't know what they're doing with their complexion products lately, but um, fix it Jesus, like you promised you would. All right, so here we go, YSL on my right side. So Mocha from YSL describes a deep golden neutral. Definitely, I wouldn't consider this deep. When I think of Mocha, let's actually just Google what a picture of a Mocha looks like. Oh, so a Mocha's like a drink. It's almost like an espresso coffee with like whipped cream on top. Like that is what I'm looking at on Google. So this to me is kind of a little too light in my opinion to be considered a Mocha. Mocha from born this way. Looking more like a vanilla latte more than a mocha ever might be considered. Hmm, I have a lot of questions. I'm just gonna blend. I better not see a single comment saying that this is white face. I don't, I don't wanna see it. Not on my watch. Okay, so this is one of those instances where there's a very, very clear difference between what's going on on this Mocha Street Avenue and this Boulevard. Um, They're very different. I definitely feel as if Born This Way is the furthest from Mocha Town. I mean, I just, I'm getting more NC30 vibes than anything. And when I think of Mocha, I do tend to think of like my complexion. So um, I think I've blended it to the best of my ability. Do we really need the swatch to see how different these two foundations are? Okay. Oh, this is refreshing. Oh my God. Next, we've got Revlon Color Stay in, you guessed it, the shade Mocha. And Clinique Even Better Broad Spectrum SPF in the shade Schmocha. I've never tried the Clinique Even Better makeup. I actually like their foundations. I've just never tried this one in particular. Then Revlon Color Say, never tried this one, but I do know that this is a highly talked about foundation. It's full coverage, it's for combination oily skin. And I think that matters because that is going to be reflective of how the color is gonna look on your complexion, if it's light or medium, if it's a different texture or finish. Oh, this foundation burns. This foundation really is burning my skin. Oh my God, I need to hurry up and blend it. I don't even have sensitive skin. I don't have what I consider. I don't have what I would consider sensitive skin. Oh, it burns. That's also not an uncommon reaction from a drugstore foundation, I will say that. So as you can see, Revlon does look quite dark compared to my, I feel like these, I already know where this is going. I feel like these two are probably going to be the starkest in comparison because you have one foundation that is quite dark compared to my neck and my chest. Like I would not, I, I wouldn't even wanna work with this. Like I probably have to mix something else in to get it to really work for me. And then, oh God. Okay, Clinique even better is light, but she's light, but she's not as, as light as I thought she was gonna be. This to me is giving me more coffee bean minus the tea leaf. And she to me is a little bit more of a caramel. Hmm looking like someone's team flag today. That's what I feel and think. Here's what I find really weird about this experiment is that not only are the colors itself very, very different from one another, but like even the undertone that they describe the foundation shade as are completely different. Can we just all use the same mocha handbook so like we could get a little bit more guidance for those of us that have. Actually, let's be really honest. It's hard buying foundations for everyone in general, but when you black, <laughs> When you're not used to having anything, okay, it doesn't help that like Mocha is defined and even like got a different undertone in every brand. Like the Clinique side says it's a neutral. So neutral to me just means pink. That just means a little bit more pink, at least on me. Very clear difference between the undertones here and here, and I think we're done here. I think we've just about seen what we need to see with the girls here. I can't, my face feels like it's going to fall off. I need some milk. I can't wait to do a mask after this whole experiment. So our friends all has got another surprise up its sleeve in the name of Make Myself Clear. Now, I had no idea all was dropping all of this cocoa mocha realness this year. And it's probably because they've been ignoring me for five decades. So I've kept that same energy pretty consistently and haven't really checked for them since the 60s. And I was born in 87. So what does that tell you? Um, anyway, it's a maximum strength salicylic acid 
acne treatment. Ooh, please don't burn my skin. This is the last thing I need, Ame. Don't do me. Today I'm gonna be comparing their mocha shade, number 910, to Estee Lauder, double wear, stay in place. Now, if there is ever a girl who brings you all of the heat, like everyone can sit with us, I would say it's Estee Lauder double wear. It is one of the mo, oh, what shade is this? So six in one is their mocha shade, meaning it's like level six, dark to light level is six. The undertone is neutral. And I don't know what the one means after that. So we're gonna be going toe to toe with these two mochas. They look very different. So let's compare and contrast. Even though the glass bottle is always a scam, it doesn't always give you the true color. It definitely already, in my opinion, looks very pink. And there you have it. That's all you really needed to see. I put on a pretty generous amount. I didn't need this much. And it definitely sneaks up on you. I think a lot of people assume because it's so watery that they're like, oh, it's not really doing anything. Take a picture though with the flash and you'll see how cakey she really can be. A little bit goes a long way. But for demonstrational purposes, I really piled it on because like I want you to see the color. I'd say this is quite looking like one of the worst decisions of 2018 and we're just about, you know, last two weeks. It's fine, I get to do it all over again. Okay, so all May clear complexion makeup. It's supposed to be like oil and shine free. It's supposed to treat acne. It's got four in one that blemish eraser, things of that nature and stuff. This one's pretty red. She's very pink. So I guess they have the same undertone. It's not right shade, like they don't exactly match. So in conclusion, what have we learned? Not a damn thing apparently. Mocha is not all the same. One size does not fit all with regard to mocha. I think that's very obvious here. All right, so what have we learned? I think we've learned enough about foundations in general and just life experiences to know and understand that foundations in one shade are not universal. I think we all knew the two on that, but um, it was just fun to experiment. I want to do this again with Deep. If you know of any products or if you know of any other shade names you want me to explore next time, I would love to do this. It's fun. My skin is tingling. I might have to do a couple of restorative masks, but it was fun. Thank you guys so much for watching and hanging on today's video. It's always a pleasure, especially when you come back. We love a happy family. Repeat customers. If you want to keep watching more Jackie O videos, which let's be real, you know you do. You can just right here. I bet you wasn't expecting me to go this way, were you? I know I'm usually this way because this is my good side, but you know, like sometimes you just gotta like let life grab you by the horns and do something spontaneous like watching another video. Actually, that's what you do every day on your lunch break. Pretending like you on your lunch break, but you actually never clocked out. That's what you do. You watch my videos instead. All right, continue. Go ahead.